Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Marty DeRosa, and this is Brunch with Marty. My guest here today is Chicago stand-up comedian Mike Leibovitz. Hey, how's it going? Mike, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks yeah. for having me. It's, it's great to be here at the lovely Toast Cafe on Damon. It is, or in my apartment. But we have food from uh, Toast uh, on Damon Avenue. And uh, what do you have right there? I got the stuffed French toast, which is... Uh, it's, it's stuffed with something. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I got the chorizo and eggs. And uh, at some point, we'll switch. We'll, do we'll switch, switch it up. Because yeah, yeah. you know what? I like you. I don't care. Hey, yeah. I don't care. I don't care what you meant. I, I, like, I think we should, uh, yeah, cheers, man. Cheers to that. I think we should, when we switch plates, we should switch silverware, too. Uh, I don't think so. That's a little too disgusting right. for my taste. Fair enough. All right. But, okay, so this is the first episode, and thank you very much for, for being my on. My pleasure. Thanks, And man. you're one of my favorite comedians and just a fr uh, friend. I consider you a friend. Yeah, absolutely. So that's cool. Yeah. And um, basically, we're just going to we're just gonna get to know you a little bit for all the people in the internets. Awesome. And uh, so basically, give a quick, a quick, quick introduction to yourself. Okay. Uh, oh wow! I wasn't expecting that. Okay. No, I'm gonna eat, so that's why I'm gonna take you. <laughs> I'm like, I was this potato right. has been on my mind for the whole two minutes. So okay. Well, I uh, my quick introduction to myself. I'm a Chicago native, which is a little bit unusual for a Chicago stand-up com comedian, but I don't like to wear it on my sleeve. Oh really? Like some, some comedians wear that on their sleeve. Yeah, a little bit. Wait, some Chicago comedians wear the fact that there's Chicago comedians on their sleeves. Yeah, literally. I find that sleeves. shocking. Yeah, I know. Well, and it's also like. Welcome to the greatest city in the world. You know, it's like no, right. it's one of the maybe greatest fifty cities in the world. Let's like, not get ahead of ourselves. Do you think there's like a Tokyo town. comedian who's like, yeah, this is the greatest city in the world, and he's and, and just he's, like uh, our friends here in Chicago. Yeah, right. But he's actually right. Right. It is one of the greatest <laughs> right, cities yeah. in the world. No. So whatever. So you're, so you're so from, I'm Chicago. from Chicago, and uh, I live here now. I moved back to do improv about uh, seven years ago after college, okay. and I uh, eventually made the transition to doing stand-up comedy because I got sick of working with other people. Okay. Uh, so now I, I've, been doing, <laughs> I've been doing this exactly because you're selfish. Years. Are you a selfish person? No, because they're selfish pricks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not you. No, not I'm. You. I'm very generous. Now, I want to stop you real quick. You went to, and I don't even know the name of the. Where did you go to school? I went. To, I don't know if they want me advertising. Uh, no, 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 it's like, Oberlin. College. I always love that too. Oberlin. When, I better not say like this yeah. podcast will put Oberlin College out of business. Out of like, business, right? No classes on Monday. A uh, <laughs> a Chicago comedian <laughs> mentioned our name on a podcast, and now uh, we have to close our doors. Right. right. So, but it, they're this, always sending me letters, like asking me for money. It's like, well, I won't give you any money, but I will put you out of business. So, <laughs> so this was this isn't your like typical like. It's a liberal arts school. It's okay. a little hippie college. Okay. Uh, I majored in um, LSD. Okay. And <laughs> come on. Come on. What did you major in for real? I majored in theater. And if you theater joke theater. again about that, you're gonna have to leave. Why is that? Because we don't we don't talk about drugs on the show. We don't. No, not at all. Oh man. Now drink your <laughs> drink your mimosa. Right, right. No. Okay. What were you putting in here with that? I what did you? Do? <laughs> Just eye drops, because I want oh. you to shit your brains out on control. <laughs> not if you know that, but if you put eye drops in uh, a drink. And people drink it, they will shit their brains out. Is that right? Yeah. You're not supposed to drink the eye drops. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Not at all. Because some kids did that uh, in a teacher, and the teacher um, shit herself to death. I don't know if she shit herself to death, but she got real sick. I like to think in my world she shit herself to death. Oh, really? We live in different worlds. I like to think that she's okay. <laughs> okay. Was it weird when you were done with that? When I was done with that. Was that weird? When you graduated? Well, when I graduated. Did it feel like, okay, now I have to go back into this real world as opposed to this, like, Little fantasy world we were living in. Well, I was a little unfit for uh, reintroduction. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> shell shocked. Well, also when I was graduating college, I knew that uh, my girlfriend at the time was pregnant. Okay. And now, now we now we're married and we have an eight year old son. Okay. But uh, I've heard I've heard a little bit about Isaac. Yeah, 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 yeah. I talk about him on stage yeah. and uh, in really interesting. So that ways. so that had to like stop. That, I almost said that. <laughs> that had to stop the fun uh, getting a girl pregnant and then having. A oh, dude! I mean, those were. But the... you don't seem like you seem like somebody who's not like well. Life's over. Uh, time to <laughs> time to be a parent. Twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah. Well, I mean, I am a parent. You know, right. I'm I'm unemployed, so I, I <laughs> you're a stay at home dad. dad a you're a stay at home dad. At night and a, and a stay out comic at yeah, night. Yeah. Yeah. Stay out of home comic at right, night. Right. I'm a stay out of home comic at night and a grumpy hungover dad. <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, I mean this is eight years on. So yeah. I, 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 I mean, initially, then that was like 
That, Fucking nervous breakdown city. Population on this guy. This guy and your dad. Population <laughs> Medea. <laughs> We've been together yeah. the whole time. So I just got married. I was resisting getting married forever because <laughs> I had one joke <laughs> about having a long-term girlfriend who I wasn't married right, to. Right, right. And then like you, you almost want to tell her, like, you know, I married you. Gave up not just being single, but I mean, you weren't single. You were you were together, right, but right. you gave up that one joke. Right. Yeah. No, I I gave up thirty seconds of my act. For you, Dave. <laughs> but there was a part of me that was like, ah, oh, shit. If we get married, I won't be able to tell that joke anymore. Exactly. And I don't tell it anymore, and it's a great joke. And it's not just thirty seconds. That's thirty seconds from one show. Think of how many shows you would do, and sure. how many times you would tell that joke. Sure. Absolutely. Do you feel like no no topics off balance? You can joke about anything you want to joke about. I always felt like, and this is why actually one of the reasons I stopped doing improv and mm-hmm. started doing. Um, Stand up is because in improv, I feel like I would have an idea, right? And like I'd be like, "Hey guys, let's try this. Let's all molest our kids." They're They're like, "Oh, they're they're supposed to say yes." They're like, "Oh, yeah, where's the yes in now?" Fucking square. (laughs) But so whatever. So I get sick of like running into that resistance. Yeah. What I love about stand up is like, I don't think anything is off, off, um, you know, off the table. Right. I just think like. The only person who can tell me if it's no good is the audience. Right. If the audience they doesn't will. laugh, they will. Then, then it's a bad joke. Absolutely. You know. But if they're laughing at it, then then I didn't do anything wrong. Is there any a point where you have like, if I don't make it by this point, then maybe we need to start looking for other options to make money, or are you just like, I can't think about that? Yeah, I don't really think about that. Has there been a time where you you've wanted to quit, or you thought like, nah, maybe this isn't for me? Not really, man. I mean, there there are all, everyone has. I've had nice. times. I've had times where I felt like. Maybe this isn't for Lebo. He should. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone's got those sets where, like, you're like, you know, like all I'm trying to do is make people happy. Yeah. And and they weren't happy. Yeah. So what the fuck am I doing? Right. You you have done other like long shows on the road. Like, uh, you know, like North Dakota or something. No, I the, the Delaware. Other, you went somewhere, right? The furthest that I've gone besides Alaska was I, I drove. To Louisiana. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. For one show. For one show that's... in Monroe. For a hundred bucks. For a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now here's here's I'm thinking. Come on, man. You're a guy. You live here. It's just a one night show. It's probably not going to be that great. Mm-hmm. You're only getting a hundred bucks. What are you going for? What What's your answer to that? It makes you better comment. Makes you better. Comment. Absolutely. Okay. Just to be able to perform. We're performing in, in the same shows in the city in front of the same fucking people right. all the time. Right. right. You gotta get out of that from time to time. And and you feel you feel pretty confident going to pretty much any any type of venue and you can do you can do well? I do now. Mm-hmm. I did I used to get terrified. I remember okay, the first time I did a show out of this city, you yeah. probably did this show. Yeah. Dave Odd's room in uh, not uh, Joliet, but the town right outside Joliet. Okay. Hazel no, something. Yeah, yeah, Hazel Crest, Crest Hill. Crest, Crest Hill. Hill, okay. Fucking biker bar. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. And I'm supposed to do 20 minutes. It was called like the Bad Brew or something. Yeah, Brew Ha Ha. Bada Brew. Bada Brew. Bada Brew. Okay. Bada brew right? And it, yeah, it was like a, it's like a biker bar or, or like a, you know, kind of a more blue collar type of bar. Absolutely. So I went out there. I was supposed to do 20 minutes. At this time, I have about 12. Okay. Tops. Okay. You know, so I go out and I do the show. And that was the first time I've ever been. I've been heckled before. Right. right? The first time we're there, we're like, you are not funny. <laughs> like, you are a faggot. <laughs> you know? Did you have you gained confidence from doing stand up and, and sort of excelling at it? Has it helped in your other aspects of your life? Yeah, I mean, it hasn't so much helped financially. So much. right, I mean, it's crippled you financially. Let's be honest, right. it's crippled well, you and my whole family and your whole fair, family. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I think absolutely. But it, but I mean, it's made you obviously the person you are. Yeah, I mean, I think like what's so beautiful about doing stand up comedy is like you are so what you're trying to find is like your they call it your inner comic right or whatever so you're just trying to be as true who to says yourself that? who says that they, they say it in the books so I don't know are you big on books did you read books and stuff about I read comedy? the Judy Carter book yeah it fucking sucked I Judy Carter the party starter yeah <laughs> if I can't do a show I'll always I've got this like short list of people mm-hmm. I'm like we'll call this guy this guy and this guy and you're always like anytime I'm hosting something and I can't do it I'll say like call you I, and what I like about you is you just have this like great vibe of like we're gonna have fun and I think a lot of people just don't have that it's just it's it's you watch some people go up and it's just like this is supposed to be fun it's not fun and you go up and 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 and, you know whether it's the mustache I don't even think it's the mustache you just have this fucking vibe and you have this look you have this like I don't know if people have said that you've got a kind of a look to you like in your eyes Mm -hmm. like it's kind of crazy like you're not quite crazy but it's kind of like this guy is a weirdo, but funny, <laughs> and, and you're going to have a lot of fun with him. Have you ever talked about, have you ever gave serious thought to, to moving yeah. to New York or L.A.? Yeah, um, I think, uh, 
Because then at one night we were ready. Here, one night we were ready, ready to leave. Like, we were gonna car. leave that night and like not tell anybody. Yeah, and, and... <laughs> I don't remember this. <laughs> I, don't think I don't remember this, but at the same time I don't doubt it. But you don't doubt it. Yeah, it's something yeah. like I would never say that. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, I feel like there's still stuff for me to do here. Yeah. Um, what are you? What are you the most proud of that you've done here so far? Besides being my friend. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> take that off the list. Besides making me be your friend. I mean, in terms of the world of comedy, I mean, I think the most proud of comedians you should know. Yeah. I mean, that's that, that show's awesome. Now you were telling me before that we started that we somebody asked you to be an intern for us, and then and then some then what All happened? All right. Where we're situated right now in your apartment. Yes. Is directly across the street from this. I don't want to give away your location, but it's it's you can where, give it away. It's okay. okay. Six degrees. It's on, this place. Yeah. That's on Damon Avenue. Marty lives on Damon Avenue. And there's this, it used to be called Whiskey Road. It used to be a, di- a million things. It was Chinaskis. Remember when it was Chinaskis? Okay. And they did the whole, the whole, uh, Is that where you got theme? unlimited bacon? Well, no. Whiskey, Whiskey Road, Road was unlimited bacon. They used to have like a movie marquee that just said free bacon. Mondays were free all, bacon. All you can eat bacon. All you can eat bacon. And we did stand, there was an open mic there. Right. So there was an open mic there and it was at that open mic, uh, yeah, just over two years ago where I was asked, Drew was moved up from being an intern at CYSK. Yeah. To being a cast member at CRSK, right, and right. I was invited to take his old intern spot. Yeah. And then a few months later, <laughs> Drew, after moving up to the cast member, fired all the interns. <laughs> what do you What do you feel like? Do you, Do you have a lot of new comedians who come to you since you're pretty approachable? Do you have new comedians come up to you and kind of ask you things, mm-hmm. or, or? I had one guy recently at a show say, "Hey, Mike, what does it feel like to be?" Famous in the world of Chicago. <laughs> oh. So finally getting back to finally. Did you Chicago say buy me a whiskey and yeah. I will tell you? Right. I I said well it feels like my fucking internet just got shut off. I yeah. Know, yeah. Like, well, Mike, yeah. thank you so much for coming to the first uh, taping of Brunch with Marty. Yeah, buddy. I hope Thanks you enjoyed it. Love and uh, we'll go have a smoke out back and uh, and uh, we'll wrap things up. Awesome. All right. Thanks Great. very much, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> and, then, and then just for fun, <laughs> just and. Thank you. I want infinity